Greetings, Mavuno Church. Uh, this is your senior pastor, Pastor M. As you know, uh, it's been a couple of weeks since the Kenyan nation went through uh, the national elections. And I wanted to take a moment this morning just to congratulate and celebrate every single member of this faith community who went out to cast your ballot, who did so with by faith, you did it peacefully, and you demonstrated to the world uh, what a great uh, thing it is when a, a nation is united and able to do something amazing together. Uh, I just want to also celebrate every single one of you, every member of this community who was involved in the civic process, not just uh, by voting, but supporting different candidates. Uh, but some of you even put your hat in the ring and you ran for elective position. And we're so proud of you that you would take your role to fearlessly influence in the area of politics and governance. And I know there are some of you who are uh, uh, it was uh, by God's grace, you actually did get that position. And this morning, we want to say bless God for you. We thank God for you. Uh, we believe that uh, you are in the place that you need to be right now. And our prayer for you is that you would govern with integrity of heart, with skillful hands like David did. Uh, Psalm uh, 78 verse 72 tells us. And that God will be glorified through your leadership. Uh, there are some of you who ran and by, by God's grace, uh, by different circumstances, you were not able to get into that elected position. We don't believe it's a coincidence. We don't believe it's a mistake. Uh, God has a plan even in that. And I just want to encourage you, to comfort you and encourage you. I know I've called several people uh, this uh, last couple of weeks just encouraging you and saying, listen, God is not done yet I know that somehow in his time he will make things beautiful and my encouragement to you is that you will keep uh, plugging in you will keep engaging in this area of politics and governance because I don't know what God is going to do but I know the one thing I can tell you for sure he's not done with you yet now as we um uh, in this space as a nation, and I speak, I know that, that not everybody's listening, uh, who's listening to this is from the Kenyan nation, but I'm grateful that you can all listen because I think this is something that is relevant for wherever you are in the world. I want to just say this, a couple of things. Number one, whether your candidate won or lost, that this is a season when you must imitate Christ in your speech and in your actions. Let it not be said of the people of this church, the people of faith, that we were involved in gloating and rubbishing people because their candidate lost. Uh, that is a very ungodly thing to do. Let, us, let it not be said to us that we insulted others. Uh, and for those of us who your candidate lost, I know there can be a season of grief and confusion and just a, a, a discomfort. But again, uh, may you not be one of those who moans the way the world does. But may God give you perspective, may he give you encouragement, may he help you see his design and his purpose, even in the middle of what is going on. This is the nature of the democratic process. And even as there is a, a, a Supreme Court a, a petition going on a, a, or, or process in that, I pray that all of us will just maintain prayer for this nation uh, because this is a nation that God has placed us in. The second thing, I want to just encourage us to all play our role as responsible citizens. It, it, it's not, the elections were not just about the president. In fact, that was a very small part of it. Uh, there are uh, elected leaders at every level. And I want to encourage you as a Mavuna, you must know who your, your member of county assembly is. You must know the women's rep. You must know uh, your governor. You must know uh, the people, the, the member of parliament, all the positions, your senator. And you need to understand what their role is so that you can hold them accountable. I want to encourage us over this next five years that we will actually be involved in governance, even at the smallest level in the estate where you live, uh, because this is what it means for us to be fearless influencers. And then finally, I want to encourage us to pray for our leaders. Uh, Jeremiah 29, 7 reminds us to seek the peace and prosperity of the nation we live in because when it prospers, we prosper. Our second Timothy tells us to pray for those in leadership over us. And I want to just encourage you, whether regardless of the party affiliation of the people that God has put in leadership over you, that you will commit yourself to be one of those who carries them up in prayer, not waiting for them to go wrong, uh, to make mistakes that you can say, I told, I knew it. <laughs> uh, now they're your leaders and God has allowed them to be in that position that you will be one of those who will say, I will support this person in prayer. I will pray for them to, to do well because if they, they, if they govern well, I prosper, my children prosper. Allow me to just finish with these words. It's a prayer. Uh, these words are actually uh, the words of Kenya's national anthem. They are a prayer. Oh God of all creation, bless this, our land and nation. Say them with me if you can. Justice be our shield and defender. May we dwell in unity, peace and liberty. Plenty be found within our borders. God bless you and God bless this great nation. Amen. <laughs>